guys, good morning. So, last night we fell asleep at like 8.30. Before we fell asleep at 8.30, we watched MasterChef. And the challenge last night was making Gordon Ramsay's scrambled eggs. So this morning John woke up and he said he wants Gordon Ramsay's scrambled eggs, a croissant, and smoked salmon. So I am making for him today Gordon Ramsay eggs, smoked salmon, croissant. I think he's gonna really like it. Today, your challenge is to make the most perfect scrambled eggs in 15 minutes. I'm feeling really nervous that I'm gonna screw this up. It's very technical. It's a possibility it could turn out just like normal scrambled eggs in that corner man. Or a disaster. <laughs> oh, don't make that noise, it's horrible. <laughs> You think you made a good scrambled egg? Yes. Mm. Damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's getting there. That half is done. We've been listening to 90s rock the whole time we've been painting. So yeah. It's looking pretty good. And the, the reading nook is also painted. And that, well, we're gonna make some built-in um, floating shelves. And I'm gonna paint that wall white and have some little like triangle things I'm doing with that. So we didn't paint that. Our room is done. It looks so much better already. Have I shown you guys the view from our backyard? That's our view. Just woods. It's really pretty to wake up to every day. We still need to make our bed or buy one. I'm having a really hard time figuring out where to put things in this house. Like in our last house, I had a place for everything and now I just got boxes of like picture frames and miscellaneous that I don't know what to do with. My biggest problem is all of the artwork. I don't know where to put it. So it's just been leaning up against a wall. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to get poles, long bar poles for these, and then some lights, and then something. I don't know. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. The sun's running out of time, come on. I'm carrying all of our stuff, can well, you? What happened to our mulch? I think the rain. I guess it was raining that bad. Can you get the door? Oh, get the door.
our good friends, the Swartzes, which are the most comical people I know. They're like, especially Steve is born for comedy, I think. And he's a police officer, so he has some fun stories. I think it's rubbed off on Jenna too. I yeah. like watching her yeah. kitchen floor chronicles or whatever it's called. So we're headed to their house. They are cooking us supper for our date night. They're gonna serve us during our date. Really, it's just supper club, but I'm just gonna call it our date, day night. That's something kind of Italian. Italian-ish meal. So whatever that means, probably have bread involved and butter, because Jenna is the bomb.com at making pasta and bread from scratch. And what else? What else is happening? Oh yeah, yeah, we're taking a trip. We're going on a trip in our little something shit. What is it? Oh, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket shit. I don't know what it's from, but I just know that saying. We're going to Georgia. We're gonna drive down there and John's gonna bring our big old computer so that he can work while he's down there. We're doing a camping trip this time around. Um, Definitely a kind of camping trip. Yeah. <laughs> My dad has an RV camper, so we're gonna hang out in dad's camper, maybe stay in a tent one of the nights, but most of the time staying at their house um, so that John can get some work done while he's here, while he's there. Are you excited for paddle boarding? Can ski? Equilibrium and getting nauseous. I think he's, we've been swimming a lot at the pool and he thinks that he has like inner ear something going on. Yeah. So we're gonna get that figured out. I might do some hydrogen peroxide in his ear. But I'm sure my oil friends would tell me, oh, just use five drops of lemon and it would be better. <laughs> All you oily people freak me out. Why? I don't know, it's like, Why oh, they freak put out? Gertrude oil all over your <laughs> inner, upper thigh and your bloody nose will go away. Gertrude? Is there an oil out there? Gertrude oil. You heard it here first? Yeah. So, if any of you guys have Gertrude oil, let me know so that I can help my husband with his inner ear. 